What's going on, family? Robert here. So James says in his second chapter that faith without works is dead. If I could say that a different way or possibly a more relatable way, I believe that James is saying that we must put feet to the faith that we profess. As we look at the birth story of Jesus, we see Mary doing just that. That she believed what the angel had told her, but then she moved based on that belief. Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse 36, says these words. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town of Judea, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Let's stop there. So here in the text, we see Mary being given these wonderful words that she was going to birth the Messiah, the Savior of the world. And she was told that he would be of the lineage of King David. She was told that his kingdom would have no end. And But then as she thought about these wonderful promises, these wonderful and great promises, she asked the question, how is this possible? How can this be? She's like, I believe it and I want this to happen, but I just don't know how this is possible because I've never known a man. And then the angel told her that the power of the Most High would overshadow her, that the baby that she would, be called, would have would be called Son of the Most High. And then he gave her this promise that even her old barren relative Elizabeth was now six months pregnant because nothing is impossible with God. But the point that I want to get us to is not so much the story, it's what Mary did next. Mary said, let it be as you have said, but then in, an, in addition to that, she put feet to her faith. She moved from where she was in Nazareth, went down to confirm this promise all the way to Judea. I've heard some, some commentators say this might have been a 75 to 100 mile trek to go and confirm these words of the angel. I don't know about you, but that, that sounds like faith to me. That sounds like believing in the promises of God and taking steps and moves to confirm and to believe, to show the belief that we have in them. So the application for us is, are we moving in faith like Mary? Are we believing the promises of God and acting on them? Or are we too scared to take a step? Let me encourage you today that God's promises never fail. Every word he says comes true. Every word find their yes and their amen in Jesus Christ. God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should change his mind. If he said it, he will do it. And just as what he said for Mary came through, first through seeing Elizabeth pregnant, but secondly, through the birth of the Savior Jesus through her, his promises to us will come true as well. So step out in faith, put feet to your faith, and demonstrate the powerful faith that we profess. Because faith without works is dead. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of Mary who put feet behind her face. She believed what you said about her from the words of the angel Gabriel and and she moved based on that truth. Empower us, equip us, help us that as we read your promises and as you speak to us to move forward in the bold faith that we profess. Give us the strength. Give us the power. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to look at this story of Mary and Elizabeth. God bless.